This is the Orbit Scratch tutorial. I'm going to teach you what I know so you can learn how to do an Orbit Scratch. This is the way I've come up with it. I've tried other ways, but it just seems as though I can't do it consistently and quickly enough. But I'm really good at a crab scratch and the flared scratch. So I combine the mechanics of both of those scratches to figure out the orbit. Because the orbit scratch is more of a gallop as opposed to a stutter effect like the transformer, I find basing it off a of flare is the best way to go. I start the orbit scratch by doing a flare to get the first and fourth hits of the orbit and I fill in the second and third and fifth and sixth hits with a modified crab scratch technique. You need to know how to do a flare. I've made a tutorial on a one-click flare. There's a link in the description below. It follows the same motion as a flare scratch. So I do a flare scratch, but once I do the first click, I'll do a couple extra taps and it'll sound like this. As you can see, as I'm doing a flare, I'm adding two extra clicks. The last click with my index finger, I'm keeping more pressure on it to keep the fader in the open position. So with the orbit scratch, you start with the fader in the open position. It's based off this flare scratch. So this is the core for the orbit scratch the way I do it. And now you add in the two extra clicks to get the orbit like this. For the orbit scratch, you start with the crossfader in the middle open position. I have a Rain 72 MK2 or Mark II. It has an adjustable crossfader. The way I have my crossfader set up is that it's cranked all the way to the fastest transition setting. And that just means it's all the way to the right. I've cranked it all the way to the right to the fastest setting. I have it set really loose. The tension adjust knob is set almost as loose as possible all the way to the left. I've never opened the cover on the mixer to adjust the fader tension directly from the crossfader assembly. I've only used the tension knob on the front face of the mixer and it seems to be adequate for me because I like it really loose. It helps me get the speed to do the scratches like the flare scratch, the crab scratch, and now the orbit scratch. Even if you hit the fader lightly, it still transitions to full very fast. And it sounds like this. Three sounds going forward and three sounds going back and it sounds like a gallop. Good thing about starting and ending the orbit in the open position, since it's based on a flare and you can miss a click and it still sounds like you're just going through uh, throwing a flare in the midst of an orbit. You can easily recover and continue with a few more orbits. If you still miss the orbits, it'll sound like you're doing a flare, which is still a, a more advanced scratch technique than say using a baby scratch or a scribble or something like that. You wanna get the first chirp to sound longer than the next two chirp stabs to round out the orbit. That way it doesn't sound like a transformer scratch or a crab scratch. You want the first sound longer than the other two. You start and stop in the open position, so that's why it's in orbit, and it sounds like this. As you start the orbit scratch like this, That's how I figured out how to do the orbit scratch. Keep watching for bonus content for the Crab Scratch 2.0. I hope you learned something today. I have more tutorials on my channel and more to come. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe as this is how to get the algorithm to push my content on YouTube. Cheers. 
you can base the crab scratch off of a flare scratch. So you do the exact same technique, but instead of using your first two fingers to get the orbit scratch, you can use all four fingers to do a crab scratch. By doing this first chirp of the flare at the beginning, when the fader is closed, you can do a crab scratch right after that. So you start the crab scratch in the closed position, but end it in the open position so you can redo the cycle again. The concept theory would be to do a chirp and then immediately follow that, do a crab scratch. This technique is based on the flare. My index finger pushes the fader and keeps it open. I'm pushing a little more with my index finger than my thumb. If I want to move the fader to a closed position, I use a little more pressure on my thumb than my index finger or any other finger. That's how I control the fader. I'm keeping pressure on the fader with both my thumb and my index finger at the same time. And together it sounds like this. That's the bonus content. Cheers.